pele kotono no moskatala babo siana na mashai Mariku satala babo bo shantali katana masai da bahandos eroko tolo bo siana mashata yana mahandi kata rekata la ba sante lebrehendo siata ya bahandosha mandeli ko shantala brahando ko sada ya rekata la ba ba bo siata nana mashai raku ana masuta la ba 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 shata ya rekada ba 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 shana nana magai eroko tolo no 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 mo subrahandi kusa la mana na masotai eroko tala babusi atana masai rekoto no no mo sika tala bashaka te mandele kusi brahandos ele koto no mo subrahandi kusa ya eka pala kusa tala brahandosai le kata na na masubrahande kusi ata le bera kusa tala brahandosai ele mene koto la ba sota ya ba shaya mandele kusa da 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 we hail you we worship you we hail you most high yana na na ma shata ya bahaya we hail you and we worship you we hail you most high you are the lion of judah hey lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high you are the lion of judah lion of judah the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high ekatala baso tono mo sikatai kerako tono mo sikatana ma supalatai rega baba babo siana na na mashaya elemene kosiana ma mashaya rega tala baba baba suriana mashaya you are the lion of judah and you are the lamb upon the throne we hail you most high lion of judah the ruler of the earth we hail you most high ekapanakashai erokoto saida bahandos erwana kaida bahando koso erokonto lo mosika tana makaida bahandes eleketi na masuka la bale koto no mosatai irwana makaina mahondo koso toya bala kosia na masaya we give you all the praise jesus we hail you the lion of the tribe of judah we hail you the great i am that i am we hail you the first and the last we hail you the beginning and the end we hail you the impossibility specialist we hail you the impossibility specialist we hail you we hail you we hail you we hail you, we hail you lord we hail you lord e kama na kai e la bana kosai e rokoto no no mo siata e la mana kosia na masai e rokoto do 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 mo sia e la mama 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 masai re kada ba 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 mo siata mandele kosana ida re kete ne melekete igabala koto no mo sikate ruaka na masoko to no mo saya mandele kosia ta bele koto no no mo sai 
Erakata, Erakata, Ikata Namasai, Reka Namasukai, Elemene Kotonomosia, Rabababosai, Eruada Bababosai, Rebabasai, Rekada Bababasa, Arekoto, Mandele Kosia, Elebene Kosiata, Erekoto Nonomosai, Yamana Kosiana Masaya, Lekete Nemelekete, Ekata Namasukata, Barakotaya, Elekoto Nomo Suprande Kosavaya, Lena Mama Mama Mosaya, Regabababosaya, we give you all the praise, Jesus, Elakada Bababasaya, we make a demand for your the release of your power, we make a demand for the release of your anointing. I pray, oh God, for everyone that comes in contact with this live session, let there be a special touch, let there be a release of your power, let there be a release of your anointing. A Kamana Kosai the Handosa, a Barakatada Babasaya, Mande Katanama Solia da Baha, a Rokotonama Sai da Bahandos, a Kiananama Sotai, Barrekotanama Sai, a Rokotona Bababasia, Mande Kataya. Lord, you say, as you are in heaven, so are we here on earth. Therefore, I decree and I declare that every word that proceeds from my mouth shall not be void of your power in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for everyone that is connected here that they will make contact with your power they will make contact with your anointing as they open up their hearts to receive as they connect themselves I pray oh God that you will not pass them by. I stand the gap as their prophetic intercessor and I pray, oh God, let your anointing move and touch them wherever they are. Let your anointing move and touch them wherever they are. Let your Power touch them wherever they are. A kapana kusiatai, a rockotona makaida bahondo sai, marega baba basaya, ela mama mama suria de baha. The Bible says, in the presence of the Lord, there is anointing, and anointing breaks every yoke. I pray that as your heart is open and as you are connected, let the anointing of God begin to break every yoke in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the anointing of the Lord begin to break every yoke in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the anointing of God begin to break every yoke. Let it begin to break every yoke. In the mighty name of Jesus, yoke of stagnation, the yoke of poverty, the yoke of limitation. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. As you connect yourself to this anointing, let it begin to break every yoke. Let it begin to break every yoke. The yoke of dryness is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. The yoke of dryness over your life is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. The yoke of dryness over over your life is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Makata la I hear the Lord say the yoke of rejection is broken. The yoke of rejection is broken. The yoke of rejection is broken. Someone under the sound of my voice, you have been suffering from rejection. You have been suffering from rejection. Makata na kosaya as you listen to me right now and as your spirit is connected that yoke of rejection is broken in the mighty name of Jesus the yoke of rejection over your life is broken in the mighty name of Jesus the yoke of rejection over your life is broken in the mighty name of Jesus there is another person I feel I see you are so heartbroken because you will be rejected by your own child or is it by your own children the one you gave birth to rejected you I don't understand what is this but God says it's because there is a yoke of rejection that is hanging on your neck a yoke of rejection I pray 
pray that yoke is broken over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The yoke of rejection is broken. The yoke of rejection is broken. The yoke of rejection is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The yoke of rejection is broken. Someone, I see you, you are moving from one to one hundred. I see a dramatic up, upward movement. A dramatic upward movement. A dramatic. God is carrying you from one to one hundred. I don't know who you are. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God told us in this life session that there's going to be a dramatic transformation a dramatic transformation a dramatic transformation as your spirit is open as your heart is connected I pray for you that you will receive that dramatic transformation in the mighty name of Jesus you will receive a dramatic transformation in the mighty name of Jesus you will receive a dramatic transformation Transformation. Have I welcomed everyone that is joining us? Please forgive my manners. I just got carried up by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless everyone that is joining. A special welcome to everyone, especially if this is your first time. Thank you so much for joining. Please share the live broadcast. Be the reason why someone joins us. Share the live broadcast. Share it. Share it. Like the video. Like the video. There's about to be a dramatic transformation in the life of someone. I pray that someone is you in the name of Jesus. There's about to be a dramatic transformation. God is taking you from one level and shooting you to another i mean it will be a dramatic transformation in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus the lord says your story is going to be like the story of the water that was turned to wine your story will be the story of the water that was turned to wine your story will be like that of the water that was turned to wine. The same person, the same vessel, but a new content altogether. The same person, the same you that was neglected, the same you that was not given value to, the same you that was not seen as anything. A dramatic transformation is coming upon your life. A dramatic transformation is coming upon your life. A dramatic transformation is coming. A dramatic transformation is coming. The same you that was not considered. The same you whose opinion was not sought when anything wants to happen. The same you that was looked at, at like, like the, the list of the things that are valuable. God is turning your story. There will be a dramatic transformation in the name of Jesus. There will be a dramatic transformation when when God is involved, when God get the Bible says he uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. He uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You that was considered as unimportant. You that was considered as irrelevant. You that was considered as a nobody. There's about to be a dramatic turn that will open people's eyes to who you are. There's about to be a dramatic transformation that will open people's eyes to your real value in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus God is about
about to use you to confound the wisdom of the wise. God is about to use you to battle, to, 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 to boggle the minds of people. The Bible says there was a wedding feast at Canaan and the people had feasted for so long to a point where they had, had run out. They had run out of wine and Jesus' mother told Jesus, they have run out of wine and Jesus asked the mother, what am I supposed to do? How is this my business? <laughs> but the mother being wise and knowing his son, he went to the servants and told them, whatsoever they, he asks you to do, do it. And Jesus came and told them, fill the water pot with water. Now, what were the water pots? They were a ceremonial a vessel that was kept for cleansing, a ceremonial vessel that was kept for cleansing. They were kept out of the house, out of the house. Before people would get into the ceremony, they would have to cleanse themselves, maybe wash their feet, wash their hands as their custom is. So not much value was given to those pots. Not much value was given to the water that was in the pot because it could be any kind of water, dirty water, whatsoever it was. Not much value, not much value was given to it. Not much value. But when Jesus thought of doing a miracle, he thought of those pots. I don't know about you. They look at you and they feel like you're just good for errands. A kapana kosai bababaha. They look at you and they think you're just good for errands. They look at you, they, they think you're just good for for playing games. Nobody wants to take you serious in a relationship. They look at you and they feel like you are just something that is good for um, for pastime. You are not something, what, you're, you're, you're not worth giving value. But when Jesus thought of a miracle, Jesus thought of the pots. This season, Jesus is thinking of a miracle and Jesus is thinking of you. He is thinking of you that has been neglected, rejected, abandoned. You that has been given less value. When Jesus thinks of a miracle, he thinks of you. That in a people think there is nothing much more that can be done with you. You are just good for uh, errands. You are just good for leisure. You are just good for teasers. You do voluntary work and when it's time for you to be employed, you are not shortlisted. You are just good to offer services that are not paid for. I don't know why I'm talking to her, but God is interested in you. You are that vessel which God is interested in. You are the vessel which God is interested in. The one nobody considers. You are the vessel which God is interested in. And God said, fill the water pot with water. He says, fill the water pot. And for, for there to be filling, there had to be an emptying. For there to be filling, for them to fill the water pot in such a way that they would make it drinkable, they had to first empty the water pot. Maybe you are in that state of emptying and you actually feel empty right now. You feel so empty, you feel worthless. Now it's not about what people are saying. It's not what, it's not about what people think of you. It's at the point where you yourself you feel worthless. You yourself you feel unworthy. You yourself you feel empty. You are at that point in your life. I don't know who I am ministering to, but you are in that point in your life where you do not think you are more valuable. You don't even think you are valuable. You don't think you are deserving of something. I mean, you look at yourself and you feel like maybe I'm not even deserving of this life. Maybe I'm not even deserving of this life. You are in that stage. You are in that stage of emptying. You are in that stage of emptying. God is emptying you because there's about to be a refilling. God is emptying you because it's about to give you value. God is emptying you because it's about to give you worth. God is emptying you because it's about to give you a purpose. God is emptying you because it's about to give your life a meaning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are in that place where you yourself you don't think you are deserving of the good things of life you feel like you are not deserving you feel like 
other people are even worthy of it but god says he, he is emptying you so they, they can be a refilling god is emptying you so they can be a refilling god is emptying you so they can be a refilling in the mighty name of jesus god is emptying you so they can be a refilling in the mighty name of jesus and when they were a refilling when there was a refilling he told jesus to them carry some of that water and give it to the master of ceremony carry some of that water and give it to the master of ceremony nobody nobody knows when it got transformed from water to wine hey Nobody knows when he got transferred from water to wine. We don't know if he was still when he was in the pot, in the hands of the servant that was taken to the master of ceremony, or in the hands of the master of ceremony. But one thing we know for sure is that there was a dramatic transformation. Nobody will know when you become what you are becoming. Nobody will be able to trace it because from being the rejected one to feeling rejected yourself, from being the valueless one to feeling like you, you are not worthy of anything good, to becoming a well-talked-about treasure. Nobody knows when the transformation happened, but by the time it got to the, to, the, to the mouth of the master of ceremony, it had changed to the finest one he had ever tasted. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May you encounter this dramatic transformation. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that you will encounter this dramatic transformation. There will be a dramatic transformation in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The best one came from the most unlikely places. Hmm. Ah, the best one came from the most unlikely condition. The best one came from the most unlikely places, the most unlikely condition. Can you imagine the best one coming from a pot that is used for, for cleansing? Can you imagine the best one coming from... from from that kind of condition. That is what God is making out of you. That is what God is making out of you. Nobody ever imagined that you are going to be this best wine that everybody would talk about. Nobody ever imagined that your life was going to have this dramatic turn around. But it is happening in the name of Jesus. 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 The same pot, different content. The same pot, different content. The same container, different content. Still the same you, your face has not changed, but different content. The same you, you still look the same, but your work has been skyrocketed. The same you, nothing has changed in your physical appearance. Hey, the same you, the same vessel, but a different thing, a, a, a treasure coming out of this same you. Same container, different content. Same container, different content. Same container, different content. Same container, different content. Same 
container different content that is becoming your testimony same container different content the same person that was despised but different content the same person that was looked down on with a different content when you open your mouth to speak they will hear something else when you appear in that ceremony you will communicate a different value same container different content same container I, I, I just heard the Lord say to somebody, God says, God is making you a priority. I don't know how that relates to what we are praying about, but I am speaking as I am, as I am commanded. I speak it as I hear it in the realms of the spirit. God says, henceforth, he is making you a priority. God says, henceforth, he is making you a priority. I don't know who that person is, but the Lord says, henceforth, he is making you a priority in the mighty name of Jesus. Henceforth, he is making you a priority in the mighty name of Jesus. Henceforth, he is making you a priority. Henceforth, he is making you a priority. As your spirit is connected, God is making, I extend that word to 24 of you that is watching me. This might be a word for one person, but I extend it to 24 persons watching me right now in the name of Jesus. God is making you a priority. God is making you a priority. God is making you a priority. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is making you a priority. Let's 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 read let let's read let's let's read that story somehow. John chapter two. Hmm. Let's just read from verse eight. John chapter two from verse eight. Let's just read and hear what God what it says. All right. Let's read from verse seven. Jesus said to the servants, "Fill the water pots with water." So they filled them up to the brim. Then he said to them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter of the banquet. So they took it to him. And when the head waiter tasted the water, which had turned into wine, not knowing where, where it came from, though the servant who had drawn the water knew, he called the bridegroom and said to him, everyone else serves his best wine first. And when people have drunk freely, then he serves that which is not good. But you have kept back the good wine until now. Hey, Madabashaya. You have kept back the good wine until now. You have, what is the, when I read this, I shouted, what is the natural tendency? What is the growth process of life? What is the growth process of life? When you are growing, people expect by 30, you should have achieved a lot. By 40, you should have really, really, really achieved. By 45, 50, you are already planning your retirement. But maybe, just maybe, you are above 30. You are maybe in your 40s and you feel like, what can I really do right now? Or maybe you are in your 50s and it feels like, what, what more is there for me? I'm already planning my return. What more is there for me? <laughs> God is keeping the best for the last. God is keeping the best for the last. God is keeping the best for the last. Eba God is keeping, there are people, God, God waits for you to be written off on. God has waited so you are written off on. Nobody is expecting anything good for you anymore. Nobody is expecting anything good from you. 
you are at a point in your life where nobody is expecting anything good for you. They feel like you have missed it. They feel like you have missed it and nobody is expecting. Nobody is looking at you again with hope. Nobody is expecting anything good from your life. They were already at a point in the ceremony. They had already drunk the best wine. They were already drunk. They were not expecting anything. The, 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 the master of the ceremony says, every good host gives the best wine first. So towards the last, when they serve uh, uh, the, the worst wine, nobody will even pay attention to it. Nobody will pay attention. So many people work their lives out in their early years so that in their last years, they can just relax and just retire and just enjoy their retirement. Nothing is expected. Nothing much is expected from, from, from someone who is already advanced in age. Nothing much is expected. But with God, but with God, but with God, but with God, he knows how to turn water into wine in the most unexpected manner. He knows how to change circumstances when nobody is looking. God knows how to turn situations around when no one is paying attention. God knows how to turn your situation around when everyone has given up on you. Even you have given up on yourself. God knows how to turn the situation around. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, that God will step in and make an exception for you. This master of ceremony said, this is not common. What is happening here right now is not common. How can you keep the best drink for the last? God is stepping on in, stepping in in your case and he is making an exception for you in the mighty name of Jesus. God is stepping in in your case and he is making an exception for you. God has reserved the best for the last. You are about to experience the best of God even in this your present state. You are about to experience the best of God even in this your current state. You are about to experience the best of God even in this your current state. You are about to experience the best of God even in this your current state. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, people say you've been married twice and they don't even expect you to have a blissful marriage again. You have been divorced twice and people don't even expect you to marry again or have a blissful marriage but God is stepping in to make a difference in your life God is stepping in to make a difference in your life God is stepping in to make a difference in your life, in in your life. you lost your mortgage this is a word for someone I don't know what I'm hearing but God says you lost your mortgage and you really feel depressed you feel like you can never ever own a house you lost your mortgage, you feel depressed, you feel like you can never own a house. God says he's stepping in to make an exception. I don't know who you are, but I am speaking as I am letting my spirit. God says he is stepping in to make the difference. He is stepping in to make the difference. He is stepping in to make the difference. God is stepping Stepping in to make the difference in your life. It cannot call Sakatashai. God is stepping. If you are, if I call your case, just say this, it is me and connect yourself. God is stepping in to make the difference. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is stepping in to make the difference. In the mighty name of Jesus, nobody expects anything from you right now. Everyone has given up. Maybe even you, you have given, you don't even expect anything to happen right now. Ah, but God is stepping in to make the difference. God is stepping in to make the difference. Psalms chapter 92 from verse, let's, let's see Psalms chapter 92. Psalms chapter 92. Let's see Psalms chapter 92. Maleko Shataya. Hmm. Uh, let's read from verse 13. Psalms chapter 97 verse 13 says, Planted in the house of the Lord. That is the, a righteous. A righteous. When a righteous is planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Growing in grace, they will still thrive and bear fruit and prosper in old age. They will flourish and be vital and fresh. 
rich in trust and love and contentment. What is it saying again? Let me read it again. again. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the court of our God. Growing in grace, they will still thrive and bear fruit and prosper in all age. You will still thrive. You will still bear fruit. You will still prosper even in all age. Even in the state where everyone has given up on you. You know, old age is relative. Old age is relative. Old age is not a universal term. All right? It's not a universal term. There are people who made their mark in life at the age of 74, 60 something. That's when they made their mark in life. But old age, I mean, depending on where you are, where you find yourself, they might say if, if you have already passed this age, you cannot, um, be, you cannot have this position anymore. All age is relative to the circumstance and the situations you find yourself. When everyone, you are in that situation where everyone says your time has passed, nobody is looking at you again for that position. Nobody is looking at you again for marital settlement. No one is looking at you again for a particular breakthrough. But God says you will flourish even in that state. You will flourish even in that state. You will flourish even in that state. Kapa shakata namasotai. Rekaba baba bo siata nabai. Le kotono no kosia namashantai. Reba baba saya. Where nobody has expectations of you anymore. You will flourish even in that state in the mighty name of Jesus. You will flourish even in that state in the mighty name of Jesus. You will flourish even in that state in the mighty name of Jesus. God is turning your water into wine. God is turning the ordinary in your life into extraordinary. God is turning the ordinary in your life into extraordinary. God is turning the ordinary in your life into extraordinary. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, God is turning the ordinary in your life into extraordinary. God is turning the ordinary in your life into extraordinary in the mighty name of Jesus. God is turning the ordinary in your life into extraordinary in the mighty name of Jesus. In in the mighty name of Jesus, there will be a dramatic transformation. There will be a dramatic transformation. I pray for you. Let there be a dramatic transformation. I pray for you. Let there be a dramatic transformation. Let there be a dramatic transformation in your finances, in your health. Let there be a dramatic transformation in your career, in your home. Let there be a dramatic transformation in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you as Jesus steps into your life, as Jesus steps into to that case, as Jesus steps into that scenario, I pray for you, there will be a dramatic transformation in the mighty name of Jesus. God is turning your water into wine. God is turning your water into wine. God is turning your water into wine. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is turning your water into wine in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, there's about to be a dramatic transformation. There's about to be a dramatic transformation. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you for a dramatic transformation. I thank you, Lord, for a dramatic transformation. I thank you for a dramatic transformation. Say, Lord, I thank you for a dramatic transformation. I receive it in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive it in my life. In the mighty name of 
of Jesus. I receive it in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive a dramatic transformation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Leba shakatana soy. Rakata baba babo Father, we thank you because this is the confidence we have. That whenever we call you answer, whenever we pray you answer. Thank you, Lord, for answering one more time. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Right now, I'm going to give you an opportunity. If you are led in your spirit, you want to plant a seed connecting to the prophetic prayers. You want to plant a seed connecting to the prophetic words that have been released. I give you an opportunity to do that right now. If you want to use PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money, the information has been pinned on your screen. Just click on the pinned message and you're going to get the access to our Cash App and PayPal information. If you want to use the live stream, it's still okay. Whatever means it's most convenient for you. Hallelujah. Whatsoever you want to connect into, you're, maybe you're connecting for dramatic transformation. Maybe you're connecting for a turnaround. Maybe I don't know whatsoever God has impressed in your spirit as we're praying if you are led to plant a connection seed you are led to give a seed of offering whatsoever the case may be i give an opportunity to do that right now and i want to use this opportunity to welcome everyone that is, that is joining us for the first time if this is the first time you're joining our live session a special welcome to you thank you so much for joining i pray that God is going to use this channel to minister to you spiritually, to tell you his mind and to pray you into his promises for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Please check to see if you already subscribed to this channel. If not, kindly go ahead and touch that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we are live, you're going to receive a notification. If you have not given the video a thumbs up already, please, family, kindly touch the like button. God bless you as you do that. And if you have not shared the live broadcast, if you were ministered to, if this live session blessed you, then it's a good thing for you to share, be an extension, be the reason why someone else prays along and is blessed. The only way you do that is by sharing on your timeline, sharing on your Facebook, share on your status, just be the reason why someone gets blessed by this. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has planted a seed on PayPal, on Cash App, on Superchat. I pray that you bless their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who are planting seeds connecting to a dramatic turnaround, I pray in the name of Jesus that God will honor your giving and that there will be a dramatic turnaround in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who are planting the seed, thanking God for the prophetic prayers. I bless your thanksgiving offerings in the name of Jesus. Those who are planting seeds of offering into where no one expected, I connect you to your seed. It will come from an angle no one expected, just as your faith is stirred and activated. In the mighty name of Jesus, those who are planting seed connecting to the same container, different content. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same container, different content. I connect you to your seed. That God will change your content. There will be an infilling of a new anointing. There will be an infilling of something new. God is changing your content in the mighty name of Jesus. God is changing your content in the mighty name of Jesus. The same person, different content. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you, Michael Bill. I pray for God's healing upon your life. I pray that God will heal you right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your, of your feet. I speak healing in Jesus' mighty name. I speak healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. They will not know when it changed. They will not know when it changed. Those who are planting seeds connecting to my water is changing to wine. I connect you to your seed. 
God is changing your water into wine in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are paying their tithes, God bless your tithes in the name of Jesus. God bless your tithes in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God rebukes the devourer over your income and that he pours out a blessing that your bands will not be able to contain in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you, Yung Lee. Let there be a dramatic transformation. Let there be a dramatic transformation upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a dramatic transformation upon your life, Yung Lee. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. Laba shatana masoka tana mashai. Rakada baba babusia tana mahandish. Zona mashataya baha. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lakotana mashaya. Lord, we thank you for dramatic turnaround. We thank you, Lord. Nobody will see it coming. No one will see this coming. No one will see this coming. One day, they'll just wake up and your story would have changed. One day, People will just wake up to embrace your new reality. One day, people will just wake up and everything about you would have changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are blessed of God. You are blessed beyond curse. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. That God will bless you in your going out and your coming in. God will bless the fruit of your body. I pray for you. May God bless your bread and bless your water. In the mighty name of Jesus. That the Lord will bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. He will be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. God bless you, family. Thank you so much for turning out for prayers. I do be, I do hope you were blessed by this live session. I do hope God ministered to you in one way or the other. I look forward to see you in our next live session. I look forward to hearing your testimony. If you have a testimony, you can always send to our to my um, Gmail. You can always send me an, an email telling me what the Lord did. I am always happy each time I get to read your testimonies. Hallelujah. God bless you. I will see you in our next live session as God gives me grace. Until then, have an amazing day. Have an amazing evening. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.